and welcome back to my channel and today i thought we would do another video where we would renovate another starter house so obviously we can't use the empty plot even though that one is free we've already done the happy home of roblox yes yeah, so now we have either the cozy cottage the peaceful living the classic family home the small suburban which this will help me get up with a lot more of my you know building skills we have we already did the boxing king mansion so that's all we have so i think since we already did the boxing king mansion and the happy home of robloxia i thought we would go for the one that was made by ii sailing souls um the cozy cottage um so we're gonna buy this plot and then we're gonna check it out and we're gonna see how we can actually renovate the cozy cottage and make it more of a nice more of a cozier cottage in these brand new Bloxburg updates because these are way old since like 2016 or, or, or 2017 but let's get into this and let's renovate this cozy cottage okay I totally forgot that I'm still a toddler from the update but anyways we're gonna go into free cam mode and we're gonna just check out the outside of this house so obviously this doesn't look like it's a cottage now if you so I went on Google and I searched up some images. Oh, I don't know why I was up at the sky. Um, so I searched on Google and I came up with some images that look more cottage-like. And these are all like starter homes, but not really. But this is like $20,000. You can get away with this. Um, moving in for the first time in Bloxburg with this cozy cottage. Obviously, this doesn't use a lot of the stuff that we could use. Like, you know, the plants around here are just like, you know... It, Th this does give off starter home vibes and like you know the trees and stuff like you know we we have to we we have to make this maybe a little bit like the front the, the front over here just doesn't look that appealing to be a house if you know what i mean so we don't have a budget for this house because obviously it's not really a much of a starter house but um so when we walk in for the first time we we have this small pathway and i don't like how pathways are like this because like you know the trash can right there but i love the addition of a front porch that's always really really nice and cute a front porch uh, a front porch is always cute and then we enter in and we have this uh i don't know about having the flooring go from that to this so quickly but i really like what it did with that you know nice little um hat stand and then the coat hanger rack thing and then you have that little accent wall and you can definitely tell how old this house is because it doesn't use any of the wall trips it's very wooden and stuff oh my god it's like the world is so tiny um but you, you got like this nice little tv i feel like the cottages are much more not bright like this because Bloxburg also updated its lighting stuff so let's see what's through this door okay so this is the bathroom i think this is okay for the bathroom um it, it's okay but let's go on to the next room so over here we have the nice little dining room which heads into the kitchen no cabinets this is how old this place is. No cabinets, just like all the other starter homes. There's no cabinets. Okay, let's go into this room. Okay, so this is a bedroom. I feel like that a cottage could use some of the log furniture that provides in Bloxburg. But yeah, obviously, um, okay. Very wooden, very white. I feel like that there's no depth into these rooms because um, it's all just brown and white brown and white it's overdone in this house i feel like you could bring in lots more textures to make this more of a cottage house and then if we go over here i think this is another bathroom oh no this is another bedroom and then this leads to another bathroom i think yep this leads to another bathroom so all the bathrooms are pretty much the same okay but it's it's just very 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 white very white in this house i have to say that like the beds are white this is all white the lights are all white and i think everything in here is going to be white or yeah and if this wasn't colored okay that just wasn't colored this wasn't given much attention by the looks of it the ceiling is just concrete and i don't know um for for the time i think for the time this being what a blocksburg house looked like was magnificent 
I'd like to say that this just looks like it's just all the starter homes just copy and pasted, but just different. It, it was nice and stuff like that. So, here are my plans for this house. So we're going to run down with what the plans are for the house and what we are going to do with this cozy cottage. So obviously, co cottages are nice and wooden. They have, you know, some brick textures, some cobble textures and stuff like that. And then the inside... It's, it's fairly, it's going to be fairly small, but it's going to be, you know, warm and inviting. So we'll be bringing some of those linen lighting, um, a lot of like, you know, rustic stuff. So it's like a rustic cozy cottage, you know? So I, I think we just, what we have to do is we just have to make this seem more of a, you know, a cottage and stuff like that. So obviously changing up the pathway for the first part of it it's just going to be what we have to do so obviously we're going to head into build mode and we're going to start with the first go around with removing all of this stuff from the cozy cottage okay so first things first is we want to get rid of the pathway and yeah we just want to get rid of the pathway and the front porch because we're not we're not going to keep any of this and then you know let's remove all the the flowers and the trees that are around because Bloxburg is different now and we need a lot of this so uh, so now obviously we're just gonna just remove all of this okay so we had removed all of the items in this house we we basically well, we have removed all the items in the house. My bad. What we did is we removed all the plants on the outside, and we are going to move this all the way down. So now, obviously, we have to keep it within the 30 by 30 limits, because obviously this is the starter home. So we can only keep it within the limits of this first darkened white line, because obviously I have the extra game pass, so it adds extra squares on each side, so the larger plots. Now you can definitely see that this house is way close to the front, so let's remove the porch. So the porch is going to be removed and everything like that. So, the first things first that we're going to do is we have to we have to remove some of the walls in the house. So, let's remove the let's remove the roof. We're going to remove the roof. So obviously we have to keep this as one floor because it is a starter home and this is a home that everyone can buy. So not everyone is going to have the multiple floor game pass that everyone thinks. So we have to remove all these lights. These lights have to go goodbye. I I don't know exactly what Sailing Souls was thinking doing a lot of white stuff in this cozy cottage because it does not look cozy to me. And you know, no hate to um, Sailing Souls, but... I think having all of that gone is nice. So let's remove all of this furniture on the inside as well. Just so we can have like, you know, a blank canvas of what we're actually going to do. So all of the furniture needs to be removed from the house. All the furniture has been removed from the house. So obviously we now have a blank slate of a house. So obviously one of the things is we have to push back this house. So by pushing back this house, and downscaling this house we're going to be doing something that no one has ever thought of with renovating a you know blocksburg starter home is just starting over it, it, essentially starting over that's what we're that's what we're doing so obviously the house is a good size i think it's like a nice size house but i think we can do a much more smaller home um giving it more of that cozy cottage feel because we want it to be a cottage we want it to be cozy. We don't want it to look like a house. This is what it looks like. It looks like a house. It does not look like a cottage from the outside. And if we look at this, you know, we have that brick texture and just a lot of white. I feel like we can do a little bit more of darker, you know, darker browns, like more linen colors on the outside and stuff to make it more feel like a cozy cottage home. So I'm going to shape up these walls a little bit and I want to show you guys what the house looks like with all the walls shaped up. And we're going to start with the decorating and the actual renovating. A little bit of a disclaimer, I decided that instead of decorating the house, I'm just going to go ahead and just do only the exterior. Now, all the walls have been shaped up to make this a little bit more of a cozy-ish cottage. Now, here we go. So, off the start, we have... Over here, I'm thinking we're going to have 
like a nice little porch area just to keep that little porch area that we had before in the house and then we're gonna when we walk in the, the area is gonna be right here so obviously we still walk in to have that nice little living room the dining in the back and then over here maybe a little bit of a kitchen and then over here a bedroom and then i was thinking that this could be like a bathroom but i feel like that is too small to be a bathroom so we might have to just change the floor plan up just a little bit i don't know right off the top of my head of what i'm going to do right at this moment so that's exactly what we're probably going to do or i could just add like a nice little other area outside of here just to be a nice little bathroom that can go from inside the kitchen or something so we're, we'll probably do some tweaks but let's just start with the actual decorating process. So first things first is let's get our roof on there. We want to have a roof because the, the roof is the one thing that's going to keep this house a house. So let's first, let's build ourselves a roof. Now, one of the things I'm going to be using for this roof is I'm going to be using the gabled roof. Because this is a brand new roof and we're just going to take it all the way to the end. And we'll just do it like so. And we'll think we could have it like that size. Just bring that down just like a little bit. And then we're going to do like another gable roof right here. So let's just bring the roof down just a little bit. So this will make... Yeah, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. So this will make the gabled roof look something similar to this. I don't know what I just did there. Oh, I just put in another point. Okay, that's not what I want to do. So we bring the. I do not like this. This is, this is just annoying. I want to take this and just scale that down. It's not what I wanted to do. Put that right there. No. I want to have this be just a little bit under that. So it looks something similar to that. I think that will look nice. And then what we do right here is we add that cobblestone texture that we were talking about. So we have this nice little cobblestone texture. Let's see, what does cobblestone look like as a linen? I think that looks okay. What about hurricane? Oh, hurricane gray. I think that's what that texture is, hurricane gray. No, it's flint. Flint looks really nice to be as you know a starting out texture of that now we want to get onto the other wall in our cozy cottage which is primarily a lot of a nice let's get ourselves a nice like plastered concrete texture so let's do uh plaster and we can kind of do this more so like an off white texture Maybe like this, giving that little cozy, cozy feel just a little bit on the outside. Because this is going to be a cottage. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a cottage. I think that looks nice to start off right there. And then we can add in the, the wood texture, I believe. Hmm. Or... And just do more of no i feel like that doesn't look right so maybe doing like another plaster but see this is one of the things about decorating is you have to be like very very careful what you're doing not like how it's doing that at all i want it to go the other way but obviously you can't rotate that roof that is so annoying you know what i'm gonna have to do is we're gonna have to play with this a little bit let's do our slanted roof real quick let's see exactly what we can do we're gonna have to find the middle so obviously we do one nine two three four five six so one two three okay hold on we have that being one two three so we'll do one two three okay so we'll have the slanted roof starting right there Okay. 
Okay. And then one, two, three. And then we just have it going like that to be more so like a slanted roof kind of thing. We might have to edit that up just a little bit to make it look going up higher. But I think that would look nice for now. And then the next thing we, we're going to do is we're going to do a slanted roof. I feel like we could do like a slanted roof for the start. To just have it go out like so. Kind of like a slanted roof. That go up just a little bit. If we do like a flat roof here. Unless we just use basic shapes. Oh no, we can actually just scale this up just like... Oop. What did I just do? Hold on. So we're going to do a flat roof here and then we're just going to scale it up to the top. Like so. Okay, we want to use this the small grid pattern. I don't like that. Because if we go back to using the slanted roof, being right here, how oh, is that going to look? And if we just scale, I swear to God, this is not working out with me today. So we'll just have it like that. I think that looks ugly. That's super ugly. I think we could get away with this with basic shapes. You know what? Let me just place down the pillars real quick. Where are pillars, 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 pillars. I am like going crazy right now. Um, plain thin pillar or a plain thick pillar? I think a plain thin pillar will go nice. Let's place a pillar here and a pillar here. Now, what could we do? For, like, the porch area. For the roof on the porch area. That's one of the things. Because, I mean, we, we could go again with the slanted roof. But have, like, the slanted roof... Like, let, let's just see how it looks if we do, like, the slanted roof going this way. I did not want to do that. I hate when the roof does that. Like, no. No, I did not want to do that. All I want to do is I just want to scale this roof down just a little bit. Just to see how it looks. If it and if it looks stupid, then we're not gonna use it. That looks stupid. That really looks stupid. But I also don't want to use like a gable roof because the gable roof won't really fit. What does this look like? I'm, I I'm at a crossroads here. That will also look stupid. Okay, I think what we need to do is we need to fix the, the these flat roofs that I put down. We really need to fix those flat roofs. Well, the slanted roofs, not the flat roof. I don't even know what I was talking about. It's All right, I finally did the roof, and I finally just caved in. I just did basic shapes and stuff like that. So all I did with the roof is I just put a flat roof under the porch, and you just did the... Um, wedge basic shape then the cube basic shape and then the wedge basic shapes now the roof is on and now all we got to do is now paint the brand new roof so first things first we got to figure out where each of these are okay so that's what that looks like so let's keep that as medium stone gray right now so the middle part is what we're going to want to use so we're going to use flint and then we'll go with cobblestone so it just looks like that now let's see what is that khaki and then we used plaster color let's see khaki okay then we used plaster okay 
Okay, that's where that comes from. So we want to have that also be khaki and plaster for the top part of that. Okay, that's not that bad. So what we can do with this one is we can do with that, and then we just have to color match this. So that's khaki. Oops. You still grab that's khaki. I think we do that color, which is accurate. Let's go. Okay, so we did it. So there is the roof colored, and now we just have to have that be khaki and plaster. It's just gonna look like that. It's not that much. And that's what it's gonna look like. I think we're gonna have to do all of that being khaki and plaster. I think that looks okay. No, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. But that's just how it's gonna have to be. Unless I also do that being that white wood. Let's see, what is what would that look like if we did that? I mean, it, it would just it will just continue to see that piece right there, and I think that's what we're just gonna have to deal with. Because even if we were to change that where it doesn't interfere, it would just look like that, and that's not what we want to do. So we'll, we'll we'll have to keep it like that. I think that looks okay for now. Now let's place down a door. So the front door is what's going to be what looks really nice. So let's see. Do we have like a rustic? Oh, we do not have a rustic door. Um, let's just roll. Um, I really want this house to be rustic. Arched panel side light. So you could kind of do like maybe like this, but I don't really feel like that would be like a nice cottage home kind of door you know what i mean we have the rural sliding door which i think will look nice with some of the rooms oh, actually that will look nice in some of the rooms in the house having the rural sliding door let's see what does the french doors look like that's what the french doors look like i think we might have to do this for the front door into the cottage actually i think that will fits really nice and that fits really nice. Ooh, okay, so I got it. I got it, okay. Okay, so now up next is we have to make some changes to our floor plan. So right here is what the bathroom is supposed to go to. Oh, God, I forgot to add a bathroom. So let's see, what could we do to make the bathroom a little bit bigger without disrupting the floor plan? Actually, we have to... I want to tell you guys about the entire floor plan of what it's going to be like just so I can actually assess what it's going to be. So obviously right here is going to be the living room. So we walk into the living room and we go into the dining area. I don't feel like we need a lot for a dining area. I don't, I also think we don't need a big room for the bathroom, for like the kitchen. So I feel like if we just remove that. No. Because that, that could just stay the closet. So obviously this goes in here to the kitchen and then maybe when we go into the kitchen we can cut this up to be a bathroom just be like a two by two bathroom and then we just remove that right there and then we got that Actually, I think that looks a little bit of a better floor plan for this house. So yeah, one bedroom, um, one bathroom, and then the kitchen. Okay. So if that's going to be the living room area, I feel like when we walk in, we can kind of have like the couch over here. <gasps> I think it would look really nice if we had like, you know, a fireplace. Wait, would the fireplace really... I really feel like that a window would fit right here in the dead center. Let, let's actually see that. See what we can do with the window right here. Do we want to go with the factory window and just have that be 
again that wood color because obviously the windows being wood really fit with i feel like we have to go with the lighter color on this then i feel like linen doesn't fit cloudy okay cloudy gray fits a little bit better with this house then um Cloudy gray fits a little bit better than flint, so obviously we'll go with cloudy gray. And now you can actually see that this is starting to look a little bit like a cottage. I love this. Oh, I love this. So I thought now would be a really good time to tell you guys that there will be no new video tomorrow. So when I do the outro, I'm not going to be able to tell you guys that there'll be a new video tomorrow because obviously tomorrow is a huge day for me it is going to be my 19th birthday so i'll be doing a lot of stuff all day that day so i thought right now will be a really great time to tell you guys that i won't have a new video up tomorrow but i'll have that video i want to do tomorrow i'll probably have that up monday i'm not very certain so just to let you guys know i will not be on tomorrow i won't be doing really much anything tomorrow online i'll be with my family and friends to celebrate my birthday all right so the next thing that we have to do is really just place down some more of these windows um i think what we could do is we could place a win place some windows here nope i don't like the windows being there that just looks ugly okay but so that's the living room that's the dining room okay so if we were to put this on the side, to put like right there for like the dining area so we can kind of separate the living area and stuff. Mm -hmm. and then we can have like a window here, a window here, a window here, and then a window here. just bring these windows in just a little bit more just so they're not towards the edge like how those are all right all right all right so now obviously this is looking more of a cottage home feeling now let's just make all these the brown color And wood. Actually, I really like that. I really, really, really like that. That looks pretty. That looks pretty. Now look at this. Cozy Cottage. Really is turning into one of the most beautiful renovations. Also, if you guys want to see any more of my Bloxburg renovations, like my Bloxburg mansion, or the starter home, or the Bloxington mansion, popping up on the side of the screen right now should be a little i button that will direct you to a playlist full of Bloxburg renovations, which also this video is going to be in, so definitely check out some more of the Bloxburg renovations. This is obviously one of another renovation that I'm doing. So once all the... Once all the roofs are colored, we will go inside. Well, we're going to stay outside real quick. And let's just build up the porch just a little bit. So one of the things I want to tell everyone when you're building your, your porches is that everyone likes to use this path tool for something. I feel like it works to an extent, but the path tool, don't use it. Don't use it. There's actually another way they can do some of this. And obviously the, the older Bloxburg players know this, but you can place down a floor with um custom placement. So that's how it's going to look like. Now, obviously we want to kind of start off doing like, you know, like a nice little pathway. feel like no that does not fit at all all right so the outside of the house is 
kind of finished. I did what I wanted to do with this nice little, you know, cozy esque, cozy cottage. Like it's a cozy cottage, so cozy esque. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys some of the creative outlines I did on the outside. So obviously you guys can see that we have this nice little tree over on the side over here, and we have this nice little thought out pathway um, with some birds. We love those new additions of birds. And then we have the porch over here with a little porch swing. I did end up adding this window right here because I want to go for like a, a smaller kind of kitchen again. Maybe have like the dining room space be right there. And then right over here we have the nice little porch swing with that little lamp. Um, Over here we have that nice little pond area which I think looks so cute. I think this all looks so cute right here with the little pond. Um. This is just all amazing. So now we're going to have to go inside and we're going to decorate on the inside. I think this is getting a little bit too long. Um, I've been recording for about an hour now. Um, so if I do do another video, I'll probably do another part two. If you guys want to see me decorate the inside, comment down below and I'll do some of the decorating on the inside. Um, but I do want to leave this video kind of short, um, just to leave you guys with what you can have for a nice little home. If you guys want to recreate this home on the outside, I will be, um, at the end of this video right now, I will give you guys some of the layouts. So definitely, if you want to recreate this home, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, anyways... If you guys want to see the interior design of what I have and what I kind of want to do with this house with the um, renovations, definitely leave a comment down below and I will do a part two. Either way, I'm going to do a part two. Hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, I have a lot to do. Um, but yeah. So obviously, I'm going to go, I'm going to go again with the, the layouts. So... Here is the outside. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an outside tour and stuff like that. So I'll give you guys the layouts at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one when I post that on Monday. If it is going to be a part two of this house, that will be posted on Monday, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow is a huge day for me. So uh, without further ado, I'll give you guys the outdoor tour.